Hello friends on YouTube. I wanted to make a quick video about the mentorship skill in Engage. It's this skill right here. It's on Emblem Byleth. I want to show it to you real quick. It grants 1.2 times EXP modifier to unit and adjacent allies. So if you are holding the mentorship ability, then you earn 20% more, ex more experience. If some action would, would give you 10 experience, you instead earn 12. If an action would give you 20 experience, you instead earn 24. I want to make a video about this ability because, frankly, the ability sucks. Uh, more specifically, this ability is awful to inherit. Uh, you, you can inherit it for 250 SP for the Ring Chamber, and inheriting it is awful. If I wanted to be the most accurate, I would say inheriting mentorship, though it does give you a benefit, the benefit it gives you is extremely minor. And it is definitely not worth the 250 SP. And it is definitely not worth the skill slot, the ability slot it would have to occupy. Since you only have two ability slots. And I'm making this video to demonstrate why. So before we really get into the math as to why this ability is not worth it in my opinion, I just want to demonstrate what it does. So I'm going to take this Kagetsu and I'm going to kill this Corrupted real quick. And watch how much EXP he earns. 18 experience on the bottom. So he earned 18 experience points from that. And now I'm going to time Crystal back, and instead of getting that kill normally, I'm going to apply Mentorship. Now Kagetsu is getting Mentorship, and how much EXP is he going to earn? It should be 18 times 1.2, which is 21.6. And I already know this ahead of time, it's going to round down to 21, so from the skill, because he has Mentorship, he should earn 21 EXP. And as you see, he earned 21 EXP because he had the mentorship skill slotted. So the reason that I want to make this video is because I see a lot of people just inheriting mentorship all the time. Uh, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of other streamers, just a lot of my friends inheriting mentorship all the time. And it's pretty obvious to me that this ability is just crap, but apparently it's pretty obvious to them that this ability is great and you should inherit it all the time. Because it gives you extra experience, which gives you extra levels and extra SP. And I do think they're correct in the sense that this does give you extra levels and extra SP. And in order to evaluate how good this ability is, all you have to do is figure out how many more levels and how much more SP you're going to get as a result of having this ability slotted. And the actual answer to this question, we're about to get into a ton of math as to why. The actual answer to this question is if you have mentorship slotted all the time, and you are always getting mentorship EXP, then you will earn a grand total of one extra level over the course of the entire game. And if you have an emblem ring equipped, you will earn a grand total of 100 extra SP over the course of the entire game. It's absolutely true. In fact, imagine for a moment that you like played a version of Maddening that was called a Paragon Mode, let's say, or or Mentorship Mode, right? Thracia had Paragon Mode, which is like you could put in a cheat code at the start and all of your units earned double EXP all, all run long. Imagine you could do that and do Mentorship Mode. And you and I played through the game. You had Mentorship Mode active. I did not have Mentorship Mode active. All of your units had Mentorship. None of my units had Mentorship. And we did the same thing all game long. At the end, at the very final chapter, we could look at your team versus mine and your units would be one level higher. Just one level higher. Let's go into the math to figure out why. So you have to remember that there's more than just mentorship going into your EXP earned. There's another factor and that is, what is your current level? Remember that as your level increases, the amount of EXP you earn from kills decreases. So let's demonstrate this real quick. As we saw here, when we got a kill, Agetsu earned 18 experience. And let's say he, you know, earns the 18 experience, he's one level higher. So let's compare the EXP gain of a Kagetsu who doesn't have mentorship and a Kagetsu who is one level higher, but does have mentorship. 
So what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to uh, Emblem Engage and dance with Violet instead. And now remember that we are looking at the EXP gain of a Kagetsu, who is earning Mentorship, but is one level higher than the Kagetsu we were considering previously. And let's see how much XP he gets from this kill. Nineteen experience, which is one point of XP higher than he was earning before. But that just is a coincidence of the level that he's earning one EXP higher. For the most part, it is the exact the exact same experience he's earning now, as compared to his lower level version that did not have mentorship. And this is what I mean when I say you will get exactly one level. If your units have mentorship. The moment they get one level ahead of units who don't have mentorship, they are earning EXP and therefore they are earning levels at the exact same rate. And they are earning SP at the exact same rate. They don't get two levels ahead because in order to get two levels ahead, they need to get one level ahead and be earning EXP faster, but they don't. They earn EXP at the exact same rate. In order to really demonstrate this like exactly, I'm going to open up the EXP formula and we can do some math from there. So give me a second while I open up this Excel window. Oh, hold on, this is too much math. That's like the end result. Let's go here. So this is what I really want to show you. This is the EXP formula. It was just something we data mined some time ago. And this is according to a certain level difference. So this is the enemy's level advantage over you. This is how much EXP you get for a kill. So earlier when Kagetsu was getting 18 experience, it was because the enemy was apparently three levels higher than him. It's kind of hard to demonstrate because this Kagetsu went into had his internal level and then did, did Swordmaster and did a bunch of stuff. I think it's actually easier to demonstrate with this Marin. This Marin is level 18 because her internal level is 15 and then she's plus three. So when she kills this level 20 mage, she should be earning for plus two. She should earn 16 XP. Because remember, the mage is level 20 and she's level 18. So she should be earning 16 EXP because that's what you earn at level difference too. So let's demonstrate this real quick. So I'm going to have her kill this mage. Does she earn 16 experience? Yes, she does. And so returning to our example here or to our formula here, we know exactly how much experience you get for being at a certain level differential and getting a kill. It makes it really easy to calculate how much XP you get with mentorship, and that's what I did here. I added an extra row where I calculated, okay, let's suppose you have this mentorship, or let's suppose you have this level difference, but you have mentorship. We can, we can actually see it right here. I guess that when he got the kill, had eight, earned 18 experience, and then when I moved for Tensi next turn, he earned 21. And then the time after, when I danced for him, and he got another kill, he leveled up by one, and then he earned 19 experience because he still had mentorship. So now all we have to do is think about, all right, can a level, can our mentorship units who are one level ahead actually earn XP faster than our non-mentorship units who are not, who they're one level behind, but they don't have mentorship. In order to do that, let's open up this sheet. And I'm gonna, there's gonna be a lot of math in front of you. Just be patient, it will all be explained. So what I did here was I did the same thing. I said, here's the EXP you get for a kill. Here's the EXP you get for a kill, but if you have mentorship, and just kind of ignore these two rows. This is just, I took this row and I shifted it right by one. As you can see, it like, it's the same exact row, just shifted to the right by one. I only use this because I needed it for the calculations below. So let's suppose for a moment that we'd like to compare a unit's performance with mentorship and without mentorship. And so like, suppose our Kagetsu here, right? We're thinking about inheriting mentorship on Kagetsu. Suppose we do. Sometime from now, our Kagetsu gets one level higher and still has mentorship. So how much more XP is he earning, is our mentorship Kagetsu earning, over a non-mentorship Kagetsu who just stayed one level behind? And that's what this row is for. This row shows you the difference. So we see here is if the level difference here is plus two, if the enemy is two levels higher than you, then our mentorship Kagetsu is earning two EXP more, and then once our non once our mentorship Kagetsu is one level ahead, he's earning zero EXP more, 
once they're at the same level, they're in zero XP. The moment our mentorship Kagetsu actually gets a lead over the enemy, and that does happen eventually, because remember, like you loop and the enemies don't, so of course you get a level lead over the enemy. At some point, the Kagetsu with mentorship is actually earning less experience than the Kagetsu who doesn't have mentorship, but is just one level behind. And in fact, over here, it's like, it's really dramatic. Like you're earning two less experience. And let's not forget, like, yeah, over here, you could be earning more experience. And by the way, like the vast majority of combats occur in this kind of range right here. Like if you're this way, you're super over leveled. Like a unit coming in here at 10-1 is like at this range, like, come on. You're, you're really not fighting with that kind of thing. If you say like, inst like a insta promoted Lapis who's still at base would be at this range. It's like the vast majority of combats occur in this range, and you can see that in this range, our Kagetsu with Mentorship is not earning EXP much faster. In fact, our Kagetsu with Mentorship is actually, in many cases, earning EXP slower than the Kagetsu who didn't inherit Mentorship and just stayed one level behind. This is what I mean when I say you get a one level lead and then you keep it. You get one level ahead of the version of you who didn't inherit Mentorship, and then you pretty much just stay at exactly that point all the time. Okay, but Raisins, like, you could theoretically get a two-level lead. Like, you know, what if you always hit these and get a two-level lead? Okay, fair enough. I suppose our Mentorship Kagetsu is actually two levels ahead. Let's see how much EXP our Mentorship Kagetsu is earning as compared to the non-Mentorship Kagetsu who just stayed two levels behind. In this case, it's actually really bad. You're pretty much always earning less EXP than if you had just never inherited Mentorship in the first place. So... Again, what's the impact of this? Like, let's actually evaluate that you're you're not really earning EXP much faster. So let's actually evaluate the actual effect of mentorship. Because I said when I wanted to put it most accurately that there was a positive effect. What is the positive effect? The positive effect of mentorship is that once you inherit it, for a short while, you're earning small amounts of EXP more than if you hadn't inherited it. You're earning plus three, you're earning plus three, you're earning plus four EXP per kill. Some time from now, you level up, you get an extra level that you wouldn't have earned. Like sometime 20 to 30 kills from now, you get an extra level. And then you keep that extra level worth of stats for as long as you have mentorship slotted. That's it. You will only ever earn that one level. You will only ever earn that 100 SP. And let's remember that because you spent 250 SP on it, you'll always be 150 SP in debt compared to the version of you who just never inherited mentorship. Right? Like our non-mentorship Kagetsu, sure, he's always one level lower, but he's also always 150 SP ahead of the mentorship Kagetsu. And you can use that 150 SP to like purchase stats, purchase canter, uh, purchase wrath, purchase reposition, purchase anything he wants. And all of those would be, like, probably better than just one level. One level sometime from now. Heck, instead of spending 250 SP on mentorship, I could just buy speed plus two. And then not only would I have the stats immediately, I would also have it forever more, similar to mentorship. Remember, mentorship takes, like, 30 combats before it gets you the level lead. Whereas buying, say, speed plus two just gives you the stats now. So why not get the stats now? So when you have mentorship, you get one level ahead, you get 100 SP ahead, but you spend 250 SP. So you actually just stay at negative 150 SP and you stay there forever. It never pays itself back. You never get any further ahead than that. You're always just earning the exact same amount of SP as the version of, or the exact same amount of XP as the version of you who just sits one level behind without mentorship equipped and just with a more useful skill equipped in the bar. Let's not forget, if you have mentorship slotted, you can only have at most one other skill. So that's essentially what you get for mentorship. It's kind of crap. Is there any time you would ever want to equip mentorship? Okay. I think it's actually kind of an okay inherit for, I think, Seedol, who's right here. He's getting his butt watched by two Axe Fighters. I think it's okay to inherit mentorship on Seedol because like, what else is he going to do with his SP? He wants, like, Cantor and I don't know what else. And all he really cares about is getting to level 25 ASAP. So, you know, getting to level 25 
you know, getting one level ahead is actually kind of fine because it means you get special dance earlier. And that's like the only thing he cares about. You don't need to do anything else with Seedol. You just... More XP is actually kind of fine on him because he doesn't need, he doesn't need, he doesn't need stats. Once you get Cantor, that's like the only skill he ever needs. And so it doesn't really matter that you wasted 250 SP on him. I think that's basically the only time when it's worth it to inherit mentorship is on Seedol. That's it. On pretty much every other unit, you're better off just spending the 250 SP on stats. That helps you now. That helps you forever. Whereas mentorship, 30 combats from now, you'll get an extra level, and then that's it. That's all you'll, that's all you'll ever have. You will never have any more than that. You'll never be more than one level ahead of the version of yourself that just saved the 250 SP and bought something more useful with it. So that's the, that's the conclusion of the video. Mentorship is kind of crap. It gives you a benefit, but in my opinion, it's just a pretty crappy benefit. I'd rather inherit Speed Plus 2. I'd rather inherit Divine Pulse. I'd rather inherit Staff Mastery. I'd rather inherit most any other skill than Mentorship, because I don't think Mentorship giving you the plus one level 30 combats from now is actually worth it at all. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll see you around later. Until next time.